Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go down to the sheet name at the bottom and I'll right click and go to view code. Then I'll go to insert and insert a module. I'll move this so I can see both of the sheets at the same time. Then I'll start typing in my macro. So this is going to be sub, find, replace, open, close brackets and enter. The first thing that I need to put in here is the range for the cells that I want to change. And in my case, that is going to be cells A2 to A7. So I will type A2 to A7 in here. Then we need a full stop and then we'll type in replace. Then I need to tell it what I want to replace. And for the time being, I'll just put in the first word in the table, which is quick. And that needs to be in quotation marks. Then we'll have a comma. And then I need to put in what I want to replace it with. And that is going to be the word slow, also in quotation marks. And now when I run this, you can see any time the word quick appears in any of these cells, it's replaced with the word slow. I'm just going to swap these back around now. And now we will change these words so they are cell references instead. So we'll put cells in here, open and close brackets. And the first thing I need is the row number. So in this case, we are in row three. Then I need to put in the column index. And that's going to be column number three as we're in column C. So one, two, three. Then I also need to replace it here as well. So we are still in row three, but this time we've moved one column along. So we're now in column four or column D. Now, when I run this, you can see that all of the slows get changed back to quick. Now I'm going to swap these back around again. And the next step is to make it so it goes through all of the rows in the table, not just the first one. And for this, we are going to use a for loop. And I'm going to say for R, and R stands for row, and R equals 3 to 6. As here, the first value in the table is in row 3. And the last value in the table is in row six. Then we need to indent this and put next at the bottom to get it to loop back round to the beginning of the for loop again. Then here I'll replace the row numbers with the letter R. So three changes to R here and here. The first time it will go through the for loop, it will be looking in row three. Then the next time it goes through the loop, it will be looking in row four and so on. So now when I run this, you can see that all of the words are replaced. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to use find and replace in VBA. And that is everything.